Okay, question one. Mm -hmm. How would you describe our relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'd say, alright, when we were younger, mm -hmm. we were ops. <laughs> <laughs> We were enemies. <laughs> yeah. um, I made it my mission to annoy you. Mm -hmm. And you knew how to trigger me as well. I feel <laughs> like you were the antagonizer. Me? Yeah, 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 I would say you were the antagonizer. Like, you were playing psychological games. Yours were <laughs> a lot more cleverer than mine. Whereas me, I was just an obvious wind up. Robert. You would do things. Uh. You would do things that you knew. Right, this is how I get to. Ruben, do you know what's crazy? That's how I felt about you. Maybe I was playing the game how better than I thought. Because I feel like I know he knows this has got to me and I can't let him see it, but I'm feeling it. No, to be fair, I, I didn't know I was doing that well. <laughs> I'm glad we're on a level playing field. I'm glad, but yeah, I'd say that was definitely, wait, for God knows how long. I would yeah. say maybe up until. Maybe. You came Talis? Yeah, yeah, I would say that. Up until yeah. I was like 16. 16, yeah. Maybe or maybe around, yeah. even 15, 14. Yeah, out. somewhere around. Yeah. That, I don't yeah, know. You were teens. still, yeah. Yeah, 14. Late teens. Yeah. I'm going to give you six form. I'm not going to say No, because you wouldn't have helped me with my videos if it was that bad. True. <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, but yeah. yeah, okay, fair. That's, fair, a, that's yeah. a good way to do it. It's so funny we can laugh now because, like, nah, we were ops. hate is a strong word, but I think we were close. Yeah. <laughs> Disliked each other. <laughs> strong. Yeah. So <laughs> I would say, yeah, that was the case. And then um, mm. the breathing space at uni was good when you went off to uni. Oh, yeah. 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 But I think that's, that's good in any relationship, mm. when, you know? So that was good. And then, yeah, I think from there, it just it became a vibes thing. Mm. I'd say our relationship is very much just it's jokes good vibes, vibes. very light-hearted very very um that's like fun I, fact mm. everybody that's come on here it's gotten very emotional and oh, i feel like people may be expecting that from this okay. it's literally gonna be a barrel of <laughs> my last look at the camera so, <laughs> yeah. sorry to disappoint you. that's what you came for no because what i was gonna say it's like if all of us as siblings were friends mm -hmm. I'm the friend that you go out and have a good time with. Mm. I'm not the friend you come to in need. <laughs> but yeah, we're very like, I was very like light hearted. Yes. Like, I'd say when we were younger, mm. I would hate to see you come in. And now we're older, they hate to see us come in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're very unserious when we can. Yeah, doesn't matter the situation, <laughs> doesn't matter what's going on. You're going to find us somewhere in the back giggling over something. <laughs> That we probably shouldn't be laughing at that at all. So yeah, that's that's how <laughs> yeah. I would definitely yeah, describe. Yeah, that's it. a good way to put it. Yeah. What's your favorite memory of us? Do you know what? I don't. And do you know what? I feel like I'm doing us a disservice, but this is the one that just brings to mind. Maybe because recency bias as well. DLT Malta. Ah. Uh, event specifically. Uh, ah! Stop! Stop! No, Wait, because I know you're going to say the same thing. Oh, no, hold on, because oh, I no, say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, to me that is the best moment I've had, at, and I've been to two DLTs mm. and an Afro Nation. Yeah, all right. The, yeah, yeah, just so you don't know, <laughs> niggas flying out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, okay. So DLT uh, Motor uh, 2022 was it? No, 2023. 23. Mm. And it was Cafe Del Mar. Cafe Del Mar. Oh my god. Oh. We're by the bar. Oh. Yeah, we're by the bar, dressed to the T. Is it to the T's or the tens? To the tens, to the nines. All of them. To the tens. <laughs> we we're looking good. Ah, oh, phenomenal. At the bar, oh. both of us pulled. And we pulled the sweet ones. Oh. Sweet ones. By the way, male for me. Yeah, and female. <laughs> <laughs> pulled the baddest things oh. in the drain. We're by the bar. Oh. Drinks are getting ordered, they're flowing. We're drinking, we're cheersing. Bantering, dancing. Dex of Dax, was it Dex of Dax? Yes. Yeah, Dex of Dax. The performing. Fireworks goes off. Bro. Yo. Yeah. I, I feel like in that moment, I peaked in my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, bro, well, I think I peaked in. No, I didn't peak in terms of what I've moved to. Because, mm. don't get me wrong, man's got a game. I can move to things. <laughs> I had a sweet one. Sister, I remember I turned to you, well. I'm like, 
I was like, I like, like, oh, this is so yeah, nice. yeah, we introduced <laughs> each other. <laughs> That was that's uh, yeah. a great memory. The weather was great. Oh. Every, everything was just, mm-hmm. and so for me, that moment there, it just do you know it's like girls, you lot don't experience this enough, but this is like when the mandem's two man just goes according to plan. Everyone's in formation. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I've never seen him like this before. Oh, oh. He's, oh he's a silly yeah. one. Oh, and to be able to do that with your sister. Oh. That was yeah. 10 out of 10. I mean, it was great until I had to watch your lips. What? <laughs> no, don't. Why are you lying? I, I did not I... lips in the club. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I bloody loved it. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, that was... That was. That was a great moment. That was a moment. Uh, do you yeah. know you're like, you're so peak, you're like bursting through. Bro, like, you're, you're like the fireworks. Yeah, no, <laughs> for real. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I think they could have added. Dex the Dax was performing. Yes, Dex the Dax, there was nothing was you could have added music. to that. It was. Bro, well, now was... when Dex the Dax was performing and you're literally, you couldn't care less, wow. that's when you know. Wow. What? That was phenomenal. Yeah. That, 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 that's, that's out there. That's out there. Uh, yeah. What is something you think people may not know about me? Okay, do you know what? I would say mm. you care. <laughs> well, people don't know that. <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> I, I feel like sometimes you may not, you um you can shield your emotions quite well, mm. and some people may think, oh, you may not care about this, or you may not care about that, or mm. whatever. And I think you are someone who deeply does care, but people may think you're just easy going, easy breezy, whatever. It's yeah. nothing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. No, Do I you get, get what, what I'm saying. Say? Yeah, I think maybe because of the way that I operate, I'm very. This word might come up a lot now, but I'm very surface level, it seems. And that's just that's yeah. just the way that I operate in most mm-hmm. cases, especially with like my relationships and stuff. Mm. But I do have a deeper understanding and care in all of them. Yeah. It's just it may not be as actively shown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 Don't get me wrong, you're a great girl. <laughs> <laughs> you're a great girl. Mm-hmm. But you are not as nice as people think. <laughs> you're a good person. Mm. Do you know what is people probably think that you don't have that side in you to be like and i have to reiterate you're a good person mm. so you're not a bad person mm. but you can really say things how it is <laughs> okay and yeah like behind closed doors when the cameras are not rolling when we're not at a brand event <laughs> you know bro she's got some things to say <laughs> and you're real you're mm-hmm. you're a lot more real than people think. People because mm-hmm. obviously people just take you as live, laugh, joy. <laughs> you making your own friends. <laughs> they take you as that, but yeah. if your friends or your friends probably know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Your proper friends, they know mm-hmm. that. Yeah, you can talk smack about people. Oh. which is which is good. Yeah. No, but and you know what? Yeah. I I've always felt that. Yeah. And my biggest worry is I like anytime I've been on a podcast or something, I go out of my way to say, yeah, I'm nice, but that's not all there is to me. Yeah. Because the minute you're viewed as nice, people want to tear it down and... Yeah. You know, they've got some material I, I, there. I, I dare to tear her down. <laughs> she will burn this in. <laughs> I've seen this girl cook people, bro. <laughs> no, and that's yeah, what yeah, I would no, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I, yeah, I hear it. <laughs> what is something I taught you? Something you taught me mm. is to dream big. And the reason why I say that is because, and I've said this to you a couple of times, but I remember when obviously you started the content creation thing. Mm. Obviously, as as Africans, I hate to do this, mm. but <laughs> well, let me yeah. But as Africans, you know, they want us to have the stable job and whatnot. You know, mm. the traditional, so that and that's what's ingrained into our head. So it was ingrained into mine. And even though I'm not your parent, as your brother, I was always just sat there worried, thinking. Like, uh, uh, I ain't never seen no one make a living off content <laughs> dancing in front of a camera. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Putting up a green screen yeah. and dancing. Not even for YouTube anymore now, for Instagram. Because yeah. this was early days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, man, this is a risk, this is a risk. And all I was thinking is, uh, I just want you to have a stable income. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I was thinking. And uh, do you know what? It took me, it took you moving out. Really? For me to then be like, do you know what if you've got a dream it can happen 
Literally. Because to me, all that was like as much as like, I was happy that you were happy doing it. All it was was a dream. I just in my head, honestly, I just kept thinking at some point you'll become an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we started. Do <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? So I thought, okay, at some point you'll go back. But then when you really kicked into gear, mm. that's when I was like, ah, right, cool, do you know what? Like, you can take that risk. Mm. And it taught me that, yeah, like, that I always have that to fall back on. So mm. you've seen me now come out of an employment, yeah. mm. just do my own things on the side and whatnot and be comfortable in taking risks and whatnot, which is something I never would have done before. So Really? Yeah, bro, well, I've always been on the straight and narrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then you've always been like, you never know your next move with you, also. True, but yeah. you always know that there's going to be a <laughs> nine to five behind it. Yeah, so you know true. what I'm saying? That's true. That's yeah, true. You would have never thought me out of a nine to five for a whole year. The only time that ever happened was because of COVID. Yeah. When I was really made redundant. Yeah. So yeah. Not, on, not by choice, mm. you know? So, yeah. I feel like one of the biggest lessons you've taught me, and I think it's going to serve me very well in the future, I've had many conversations about it. Mm is um how men want to be shown love oh yes yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so we had a, a big yeah. argument yes i mean it started over washing up but <laughs> nonetheless yeah oh that's <laughs> where it stems vision. from yeah. yes it was like it's basically growing pains of living at home yes. with your siblings when yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah yeah this is when i had moved back home now let's go back to when robert said i'm good person but i'm not nice or whatever mm, oh, I can be, but you're real yeah, I'm yeah, real. yeah, yeah. but one thing it takes i rarely ever cuss at someone mm, mm, we can acknowledge that right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like i'm not someone that we get in a fight and you're a bitch you know I mean? yeah, 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 yeah like i'm not that sort of person but we were like butting heads and it was like weeks of build up i feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we it just came to a big mm. And I, unfortunately, I called my brother out of his name. I called you, what did I call you? Oof, I can't even remember, but it was nasty. Yeah, it was a bad word. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this was in our like bus, I, like, I was like, again, over dishes, sounds crazy. But when, if you've got siblings and you live yeah, together, you, you know how well. it can get. But well, don't call them out their name. And we didn't speak for weeks, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. say. Um, in the same house. In living in say just walking past each other like strangers. My sister Nodrin came home, remember, mm -hmm. she came to visit, and she was thinking, "What is going on?" She tried to solve it, and it was just like, and I remember you saying, "Like, I don't care. Like, basically, you don't want to fix this. Mm. I can't believe you spoke to me like that." Yeah. And it was in that moment I realized it was bigger than us arguing. It was me saying that to you and we both had our own hang-ups mm -hmm. and i feel like at the time for me it was feeling like you didn't rape me yes and this is also a time when i'm living at home yeah was i living at home yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah watching yeah living at home so obviously i've got my own insecurities mm. so i'm worried like you don't rape me you don't respect me that's why you were trying to get one over on me with the dishes right mm. and then the way in which you show your love may not be well as a fan as siblings we're not really huggy like that yeah. but it may not be kind words mm. or heart so it might that was how i wanted to receive love so i wasn't getting that and i felt like you didn't rape me and then for me to call you out of your name and hearing what that meant like the biggest learning lesson for me and that is men the way in which the ultimate way they can feel love is you respecting them yes. and the minute you disrespect them it's close to heartbreak would you say yeah i think we can go a long time without feeling loved in the traditional sense mm. so like words of affirmation affection mm. and whatnot and you can endure that as a man mm. but the moment you feel like the respect is gone mm. that's it yeah yeah that's it yeah bro, man. yeah we want to be respected more than we want to be loved mm. but yeah no that was a bit because as you can see we managed to work things out yeah, 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 yeah. And, it's big, and it was I'll speak for myself, like hearing you say, listen, Joyce, like, you know, I love you. Mm. It meant a lot to hear that because mm. I think maybe I was doubting it a bit. I could tell in that moment that you had, it had hit home. Mm. And then I remember you even said, I think you spoke to Joseph or someone yeah, you spoke yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And he explained it to you yeah. as well. So then it was like, I don't hold grudges, you know. <laughs> <laughs> In that moment, I did, but like, yeah. you know, once I feel like someone has got it, then mm. 
it's, it takes a lot of effort to hold grudges anyway. Yeah. So yeah, at that point, I was like, mm. let, let yeah. that be done. Yeah. And that was yeah. a good, that was a good it learning a, point. It yeah, was yeah. a very good. Look. Thank mm. God, I like I said, thank God I learned it then. Yeah. And not like because marriages are hard. You're gonna go through all different things. You don't know what it could take you to. What the argument will be. Yeah. People. Our parents do joke that we argue like an old married couple. Yeah. So God forbid that I end up someone that annoys me that much. But that's how you know you love. Them. <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> but yeah, you could get to, like money troubles, whatever, could get you to a point yes. of being so mad at your partner. But I know that is a line I will never cross. Yeah. Yeah. When were you worried about me most? You know what? Mm. I would say it was like reverse worry, but a moment happened and then I went back to your past and worried for you, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'd say maybe worry is the word, but it was when you and Riyadan finally had your moment of speaking yeah. and like really strengthening your relationship and understanding each other. Mm. In that moment, I was like, damn, because I'd always, you guys, didn't quite get on right yeah. growing up and i'd always only ever saw things from his side mm. so to hear you finally speak up again like learning how much you do care yeah i was like damn like i genuinely felt bad for all those past years and i was like i hope you didn't feel like nobody was there for you <laughs> <laughs> you felt like so yeah it was like a worry i was like i genuinely felt bad and i was like sorry <laughs> This is still gonna cry. Because <laughs> in that moment, we're all there like, we mm. want you guys to work it out. Yeah. But it's like, the tone was a bit, we want you guys to work it out. Mm. Why don't you get on with Riordan? That was always the tone a bit. Mm. And it was like, it's a two way thing. Like, Riordan's not perfect. He's been doing stuff that's been making you yeah. feel away as well. And it was like, in all this time, like, you didn't have someone in your corner to an extent, I feel like. So mm. looking back on all those years, I was worried and then I was like, I guess worried of what does that do for the future, if that makes sense with you. Nah, so be fair, not to get too deep into it. Mm -hmm. But that was actually part of, um, you see how I said I went therapy? Yeah. But that was actually part of it. So obviously, it's interesting that you say that, mm. because obviously in the past, when you said you looked back, mm. That's exactly what the perspective was. It was a thing where it was like, from, uh, th okay, let me even talk about how I am now. Yeah. So how I am now, obviously everyone just, they obviously everyone understands that I love and I care, but yeah. I still have that level of, I feel, everyone feels like I'm distant mm. from the family. But that's just honestly because that's kind of the way I had to build myself. Do you hear what I'm saying? I, this is what I understood during yeah. therapy. Because I was trying to understand, okay, so why is it I am so so independent, you yeah. can see. But it was honestly because it was like, obviously as a kid, when you, when you, if you think back, there wasn't really anywhere that I could turn to and be like, oh, this isn't fair. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I never had anywhere to turn to. Wherever it was, of course I had people that loved me and I knew yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But if, if it ever came down to me against someone, Robin, why are you doing this? Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> So now it's like, obviously I love you guys and I need you guys, mm -hmm. I need my family, mm -hmm. but I'm very comfortable with being alone now as well, mm -hmm. in the sense that I know that I need you guys mm -hmm. and I, I, more than anything, I want you guys in my life. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I, it's sad, but it's also okay. I know that I'm good without you guys, mm -hmm. which is crazy, yeah. but I want you guys. Some of it was my fault. Mm -hmm. I was a bit of a, you know, especially as a teen, remember as a teen, the way I was clashing with like mommy and daddy and whatnot didn't get along and whatnot mm. and then it was like i just so that's why it's like you never see me coming and asking for anything and mm. whatnot which is good because it's taught me to you know be able to live life by myself mm. don't get me wrong i know if i if i was ever down bad yeah, i know yeah, i know yeah. now for sure more than ever i know now i can turn to any of you guys and you've got my back mm. But it's like, I just felt as though I had to learn to always have my back. Mm. Which is, it's something, it's hard to come out of. Yeah. They say it's very hard to come out of a place where it's like, you've only ever depended on yourself. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's something that you learn. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to unlearn and then learn again. You feel like it's get Because I, I guess, knowing when you spoke to us and said you went to therapy, mm. before that, there were times I'd be like, 
you know we care about you know we love you and i'm sure at that yeah. point it's like yeah, whatever. No, I, the thing is, I, I, the thing is, I never doubted it in a mm. sense. I never doubted the love and the care. Mm. It's just how how do you teach someone to accept it? Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? When they've never, okay. yeah. When you're younger, you mm. when you're younger, you're not as clued up, so you don't understand. You just see it as you don't care and love. Mm. So I do, I've never learned how to receive that love mm. from you guys. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like it's not like I don't know how to receive love because. I've been in relationships, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like when it's from someone who you initially thought you weren't getting it, mm -hmm. how do you then learn to receive it? It's kind of like how they say, oh, you say to men, oh, um, they need to open up and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But it's not something they were taught when they were younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that same kind of concept. Yeah. But yeah, now I, do I've never doubted. Do you feel more receptive to receiving it now, would you say? Um, or in the same space? No, 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 no. Do you know what? Like, I'm, I feel it. Okay. I feel it now, mm. you know what I'm saying? And I don't doubt it now, mm. which is before I doubted it and I didn't feel it. Mm. So I feel it now and I don't doubt it, but at the same time, I can't. It's still like, I'm the way that I am, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, guys, let's all go to the living room and have a chat. Even though we do that. <laughs> yeah. <I'm still> yeah, <laughs> no, we do that, but I'm never going to be the one to initiate. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I love taking part in that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've, I've yeah. learned. Mm. you know but it's always going to be a process yeah and it will i'll never be perfect at it mm -hmm. but at least it's good that i understand that anyways mm -hmm. then when it comes to the dynamic when i have my family and my kids it's things that i've learned that's that so true aware of. i guess i still got yeah we're gonna need no but that's like first of all shout out to you for going to therapy like mm. that is amazing and doing that work on yourself and like on my behalf honestly sincerely apologize like mm. i wouldn't like to know that you felt that and i think in that moment yeah with red and that was what a big part like a big part of our tears was relief that you guys repaired your relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. but an even bigger part was like damn how could we get this so wrong do you know what i mean mm. but knowing that you've gone to do the work and knowing that it's not going to be carried on into yeah. the family that you raise is like a beautiful thing to mm. see and the, the other thing to understand is you guys were kids as well it's mm. not uh, bro kids don't they're not smart enough to intentionally do things to to isolate people and stuff like that which is something that i completely understand as well so i don't look back and hold any hard feelings like we were all that the stuff that i did as well do you get what i'm saying so it's like we were all just learning how to be human beings mm. and you're not going to get everything right same way they say yes your parents are your parents but they're human beings it's you know true. what i'm saying they're not they're not perfect now. yeah they've never had a kid before they have their first kid yeah they've never had a son before they've had me do you know what i'm saying so you're always learning so you have to understand that human beings are not perfect so mm. the moment you understand that you don't take many things to heart that is yeah I feel like, I don't know if that's a question in there and I'll have to repeat myself, but that's something I saw in you. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say when, but when I learned that you, you showed me that you need to accept that people are humans. Yeah. And like your ability to do that in that moment was a lesson for us all, I feel like. Yeah. And I definitely, that's something I, I that's something else you taught me actually, to just take people for who they are. Yeah. yeah. And forgive. Like people say, yeah, forgive, and yeah, you can forgive an easy thing like, oh, you messed up my shoe, or, mm -hmm. or you did. But to forgive, a, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know the moment you're talking yeah. about, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. But the reason why that was so easy is because I also understood I, I've also been a human being and made mistakes mm -hmm. that they've forgiven me for. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So, if you want to be forgiven in this life, you have to learn how to forgive as well. It's true. Yeah. What is something you wish you told me more? You know, I'm going to say probably that I'm very proud of what you've done. Mm -hmm. Very proud in many senses. I'd say number one in that you completely proved me wrong mm. because of, like, you know, I've told you, I was <laughs> worried about your income. <laughs> yeah, I was, sorry, I always think about it. As a man, you always think about that. <laughs> but you proved me wrong and mm. I'm proud of that and I'm also happy about that. Mm. So I'd say in that sense, I'm also very proud of you in the sense that with the bro, I don't say it in it, but like, <laughs> everyone, I'm like, yeah, no, mm. yeah, my sister's the only in it, mm. she does the videos. Well, yeah, yeah, you've seen her on Insta, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Or someone will be like, oh, how do you know? Oh, yeah, that's my sister. Like, it, it, 
it fills me with pride to say that stuff. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I know, like, you're a hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, it's like, bro, it's like being friends with the people in VIP. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You know when, when you're walking past VIP and they stop being? Like, come on, bro. Like, I know people in the city. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I think yeah. genuinely proud in many different senses just because of what you've done. Me knowing you, me being your brother, mm-hmm. on many different levels. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, but I'm not gonna go around and tell you I'm proud of you every single day. Sorry, <laughs> just not gonna do it. No, I'm not a fan. <laughs> 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 At the end of the day, we're fa- we're, well, we're the same blood. In the club, yeah, oh, man. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we're all in VIP. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel like you know it, and sometimes you say it for yourself. Um, and maybe I might allude to it with my interactions with you. But um, I actually really like you and genuinely really enjoy spending time with you. (laughs) (laughs) Because (laughs) they said I actually really like you. As if you're not my sister. Hey, you don't always like your No, but fans, yeah. Forget, even if you weren't my brother, mm. I think I would really, really enjoy. No, nah, we'd be great time. friends. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I genuinely yeah, yeah. get like when I see you pull up to like family events. You know, people talk about the fun cousin. Like, yeah. it's my brother. I'm like, I'm always like, Ruben. Yeah, like, you know, I, I, I'm a bit sick. Yeah, to my stomach counts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, Raven. Oh, really, no. <laughs> Chill out, we're all family in the club. <laughs> Bro, like even like for example, we had the weddings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm saying it like it wasn't the same one, but we get invited to weddings. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I was like, well, I always ask you, what are you there? Yeah. there? I'm like, alright, cool. It's gonna be a good time. Maybe you me, should we go to the bar? Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. It's no, 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 like, no. yeah, yeah. I hear yeah. it. No, you're a good time. Yeah, no, 100%. that's the one thing. A great time. Side note: mm. All my male friends love you dearly, mm. and the relationship I've built with them, like. Oh, I wouldn't be able to live without them, right? Mm. But a big part of the relationship started with basically you guys got friends, so I had to keep it pushing. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you like sometimes I'll be like, oh wow, okay, they just the boys have friends, I guess. So <laughs> what, they have with friends <laughs> no, I've always had friends. Oh, right. but it's like you've got your own people you chill with, so we don't really chill with each yeah, other. Yeah. And in the beginning people that I gravitated towards it's like oh you're a bit silly you remind me of my brother like mm-hmm. this like that and now we've actually like their like they, family they, as yeah, well but their own, yeah they're, they're, they're not just, just like us. <laughs> yeah <laughs> they would and it's not they will do <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah. have done <laughs> <laughs> that was to Joseph hold <laughs> <laughs> He is not gonna be rattled. He can hold that. What is something I would not believe about you? I do I do sit and be like, you actually don't know this. Like you're not right. Like I can't (laughs) I'm listening. I'm listening. No, I think having spent a lot like living alone, Mm. it's a lot of like self reflection. Yeah. And I'll be like, "Mm, you're probably wrong there actually. And I'll pull myself up on it. Okay. What was the other one? <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't believe that? I don't think you sit in your living room and think, hmm, what have I been wrong about? No, not what have I been wrong about. Because you know I can be very much like, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I am like, okay, you actually don't know this. Okay. You are right. Yeah. And as I can see, you can't believe it. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's big. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not often, but it happens. Yeah, it can't be often. <laughs> but so long as it happens, I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it got me. <laughs> yes, okay, wow. Yeah. Okay, something that you wouldn't know about me. I'd say this is probably something that most people don't know, but I'm actually quite shy. <laughs> See? <laughs> no, okay, I'm dead serious. <laughs> do you, and do you know what, yeah? Do you know what I can. Teach- <laughs> 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 
I knew this wouldn't go down. Though. I'd say, okay, any any girl that I've probably been romantically involved with, I've told them this as well, and they can attest to the the fact that I've told them this. Okay, they also don't never believe me. <laughs> but genuinely, I am a shy person on the like I grew up shy. So I grew up in primary school, whatnot. I was the shy, quiet boy. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Even okay. secondary school, it was like I was the quiet boy. I was never in the main group. Even though I had friends from like mm-hmm. the main group, I was never in the main group. I was always, you know, I was playing um, blackjack with the Chinese kids and stuff. Like mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Like we were more of the, we weren't the outgoing main group and whatnot. You got a girlfriend in the year above you. I was yet, yeah, yeah. I got that because I was cute, not because I had game. <laughs> hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. Let them know. <laughs> I was in, I, I peaked in year seven and eight. I'll be honest. Yeah. But even then, I was still. Sh- I didn't get off game or charisma. <laughs> I'll be honest. I had to learn. Sorry. Yeah. This is this is the honest truth. I had to learn. Like I went on YouTube and learned how to move to girls. Really? Yeah. But yeah. So I learned on there like just how to be more confident, go up and talk to. So, and literally the main takeaway was you've got to fake it till you make it mm-hmm. and to this day i fake it really? i fake being yeah i fake being okay i am confident but i fake being that level like people must think i'm so confident like but mm-hmm. it's because it's like i can just get into like a character but okay. my natural state is like it doesn't matter even when when i enter <laughs> when i enter a club i feel the pressure <laughs> Bro, I feel the pressure to perform. Really? Yes. <laughs> so it's but anyone. So it's like, but luckily I'm so good at pretending to be something else, mm. being this character that this confident character because I've I've pretended it since, since uni started actually. Mm. That's when it was, and what helped me. <laughs> now I do not condone this. Oh God. But what helped me get into this character was my first experiences of drinking. Okay. You get yeah. that Dutch courage yeah, 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 yeah. and you're like, wow, like I have less worry, I think less on what Yeah, so that allowed me to be like, okay, so I'm capable of this. So then I kinda learned how to do it obviously without drinking. Because mm-hmm. if you need alcohol all the time, you'll become <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, I'm quite similar. Like I I found my stride in drinking, you're yeah. like, Oh, okay, I can flirt a bit, yes. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do have a similar thing of like Deep down, mm. when I enter a room, maybe I am a bit like nervous, like, oh my god, but it's a performance. Yes. And you just, but it's been a performance for so long now that even I believe the performance. Yeah, it's now just it. a part. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's one I of your other characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I hear that. Yeah, so it's like, that's why it's like, everyone honestly thinks that I'm like the most outgoing, extroverted person, but at the end of the day, like you said, it's all a performance. This is not my natural state. But you've Put on a lifetime. Like, show. Shouted to those girls <laughs> when you repeated what they said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When we were in the lift with them. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like even that was the build up to that in my head <laughs> was huge. Because remember, I didn't smoke it in my oh yeah at the wedding, and then it was like, well, all right, I'm leaving with something, <laughs> and that little bit, I was like, yeah, still got it. And <laughs> <laughs> see, that's all I. Did. Because if I had left that drink without interacting at all, then I've failed my character. But yeah, That's I'm shy. I'm genuinely, I'm in my natural state is a shy person. Interesting. Yeah. And I don't know whether or not I've actually switched to the other side or if I'm still thinking it. I don't mind because the confident guy is there as well. But literally, any girl that I've ever spoken to romantically, I've told them the same thing. Like, what? But you walked into the room and you were talking to this person, that person, mm. you moved, the way you moved to me, I'm like, listen, I'm telling you, I was just breaking it. In my head. <laughs> but I got through it. <laughs> hey, yeah. Shout out to you. Well, guys, fake it till you make it. Fake, honest, bro, no, that I is the it. best honestly, saying. Honestly, 100%. It is so powerful. Fake it till you make it is so true. And I think I had to, obviously, when I was like doing behind the scenes for artists, fun fact, guys, I am five foot one. I'm tiny. Um, I thought you were saying that as if, no, I'm not five foot. No. It makes a difference. <laughs> no. And I would be reaching out to these people to do behind the scenes via email. Yeah. They've seen my work great. And I knew when I rock up and they see this little black girl How's with she all these all bags, bags weighing her down, yeah, this is who's filming our behind the scenes. And I had to just exude the confidence so they feel yeah. confident and they don't send me home and say, do you know what? Yeah. On second thought, 
Forget <laughs> Normally you get our Dirty Dunkers and send them away. She has Dirty Dunkers in my Oh, let's go to Nick one. <laughs> <laughs> Elite snack. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. What's the biggest change you've noticed about me? The biggest change, and it's not a reason change, mm -hmm. but I'd say the biggest change is your no nonsense policy now, and you created, um, what do they call it, like barriers? Boundaries. Boundaries. Yeah, yeah boundaries. Mm -hmm. I think, um, I don't want to get into specifics. Yeah. But um, yeah, there were times where you were looked at as. Oh, it's Joyce. Mm -mm -mm. And it was, um, you were looked at as, and you even accepted it as well. That like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm Joyce. <laughs> I feel like I'm not giving them an idea. <laughs> yeah, so for example, like in certain scenarios, maybe with family, mm -hmm. where um, you would let things slide okay, and whatnot, yeah. and okay, yeah. you know, you just carry on just because, oh, it's family and, you know, I'm not really going to do anything about it. Whereas now it's like, do you know what, I, you, you sit there like, I don't have to deal with this. Mm -hmm. And you're okay with that now, mm -hmm. which is good. So you set boundaries for other people and also for yourself. Because you've been able to also tell yourself, no, you don't need to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Not even as well as telling other people, I'm not going to deal with this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to tell other people. You also have to then tell yourself, yeah, I'm not letting this slide. Mm -hmm. It's not for me. And I, I respect that because one thing, I, you know me. I'm not letting nothing slide. Yeah. Yeah. I've got maybe too many. I've got barriers. I've got boundaries. See you be able to do that and start doing that. I know you'll be good in life. I feel like now you're saying no too much. You're saying no to a lot of men. Sometimes I'm like. Come on. Everyone recently I've said no to. Come on. Yeah, but it's a lot. <laughs> but hey, each of their own. But we're waiting for that, yes. You and me both, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, nah, okay. that's the yeah. yeah. For you, I would say it's been like a gradual change. Like I've seen you building your foundations, I guess, of the man you are today and the man you're going You're going to obviously continue to grow and change. Mm. But I feel like you're in a place now where you've pretty much got the solid foundation yeah. and it's been really cool to like see that happening like just even um, your relationship with God like just you building that relationship yeah. you have um, career wise mm. even just how you carry yourself are you as a person like the friends you're surrounding yourself with mm. even like you deciding to go back to Uganda frequently and have your own relationship with yeah. Uganda and like I would like to say from what I've seen, you are um, intentional Intentional with mm. the friends you've chosen yeah, as well. Yeah, um, So like you've set some really good, like I I could easily be like, not that this would ever happen, but I was like, oh, we need a good, great man. Do you know what I'm like, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Why would I not be the great man? <laughs> no, you wouldn't, but nobody's going to say, hey. Yeah. <laughs> like, you've yeah, got like, all the like things I preach about yeah. in terms of I rate this person as a man like this is this is oh, a great example I like I'd that say. yeah that's nice yeah. <laughs> I'm a man <laughs> <laughs> I need it <laughs> do you know what's so great about mm. that <laughs> it's the fact that in recent months actually I've been posting about becoming a great man really yeah have you yeah, 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 I've genuinely been posting. I, I genuinely haven't Snapchat. seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, so yeah, that's always been a good, just becoming a great man. Yeah, you're doing that, I will say for sure. By God's grace. Amen. Right. Well, yeah, well, do you know, I don't normally do an outro, and I normally say this in you comments. You don't do an intro. No, definitely don't do an intro, <laughs> keep it natural. Um, and it's normally because we've run out of film, there's no time to do an outro. But, and I say this to everybody, but for you as well, I just want to say thank you for like coming on here, coming here to film this and being like a hundred percent honest, open, vulnerable. I genuinely feel like I know you more now, you know? Do what you call me by surprise. I didn't know what we were going to be asking. <laughs> so did I have a choice? <laughs> Maybe I did. I also didn't. But no, honestly, yeah. you know, it's been enjoyable. Yeah. It's been eye-opening. Eye opening so, for yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, thank you so much. And I love you, Oh, I'd say that. Now, <laughs> now you know I love you too. <laughs> yeah.
Why did y'all say you know him right now? Oh, you know how he's doing it. Hold on, I said it, innit? Say it out, Baba. Say it